Guys, if you're watching this video, I hope you understand that this is the highest chance of heroes to get nerfed. I really don't understand why they intended to release these, but I will say there is buyer beware on these heroes. And I'll explain in this video as to why there is a huge buyer beware on these heroes that I think a lot of people miss. Um, ju judging by what people are saying, I think people are kind of uh, torn. Uh, are they good? Are they bad? They don't really know. So we're going to discuss it uh, for sure right now. So first and foremost, we just saw this brand new costume release. This is Jack O'Hare costume um, dealing 230% damage to the target. The attack chains through all enemies who are adjacent and hit any enemy. All allies except the caster get minus 20% attack for three turns. Effect cannot be cleansed. This hero is insane. First and foremost, uh, being at 708 attack for a four star is pretty awesome. And at fast speed, being able to chain through all enemies, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to almost kill them just by having this go off. If there is all of their enemies alive, this is easily the most amount of damage from a fast hero. So you're looking at Jack O'Hare fast here is at 180 to all enemies. This is now at 230% and I use regular Jack O'Hare all the time, especially being in a four star. Um, the defense situation, it does kind of stink a little bit, but it is only 20% and it cannot be cleansed, uh, but it is definitely worth it at fast speed. So. Uh, I absolutely love Jack O'Hare. You're going to start seeing it on these different tournaments that are going to pop up for sure. Uh, people are going to be using this. Um, absolutely. Uh, and I could actually see this making its way into events as well, too. Being able to be at fast speed, chaining through all of the enemies is going to be quite useful in the four star events. Um, I would be this is a character I would highly recommend once you do get them to level them up. The negative side effect of 20% defense is really not the end of the world. It's not. And it's for three turns because you're essentially going to be killing them. We see how good Sir Rosely is uh, being at average speed. Yeah, this dude's at fast speed. Uh, I love Jack O'Hare a lot. Next up into this, where is she at? We've got Kill Hair, and let me tell you, chat. I just don't get it. You know, um, this character, obviously, they just literally just made her better um, in all capacity. So all allies except the caster are getting the minus 20% attack for three turns. So she is 1 million percent better um, than the regular version. So being able to do kill hair the original version 300 to all enemies we saw how good this was the negative down 20 percent for defense it, it was relevant um but now being able to only impact your attack for three turns you can really plan things out especially on um on offense uh being that you can plan out when your specials go off after the three turns but 330 percent damage is a ton of damage and with that being said let me tell you this stream is sponsored by raid shadow legends i'd really appreciate it if you go up there to you see that qr code you download raid shadow legends uh there's tons of different characters you can collect and use and guys if you really like the content that i'm producing with uh, empires and puzzles it really really helps me out for you to check out this game they've got a ton of different characters to get and you can actually get three star characters and you level those up to six star characters so pretty much any character you get in the game is going to be super relevant if you download right now in the link in the description, you also get a free energy refill, one day XP boost, 200,000 silver, an ancient chart, and a Nia. This is all worth $30, $30 of free stuff. This is a four star that you're getting 100% for free just by clicking on this and getting yourself started. We also have a line group set up. So if you want to do that, check out Raid Shadow Legends. So diving into this, we have this absolute disgusting monster. Chat, I don't think you guys understand how much this changes like everything. Fast speed, 280% damage to all enemies is by far the most amount of damage that we've ever seen on a fast speed character. 
Sometimes people are going to be like, oh, well, you also get the minus 24% mana generation for Fortune. It doesn't matter, chat. You are dead. You are dead. You run this character with Morel and Master Lepus, their whole team is dead. You run this character with Frigg, they're dead. You run this with anything that gives defensive down at fast speed, they're dead. They, they're just not alive. They don't exist. Not to mention, this stupid thing has 797 attack power when it's when it's increased uh you're close to probably a thousand on on this maybe probably i think it's like 950 i don't know the exact amount but it is an insane amount of uh attack power so he does have his issue here is it health but again it doesn't matter you need to have him go off once and they are dead the whole thing is over there's no chance of redemption they are just dead so um, this is going to go down as probably the biggest mistake that they have done. Um, and the reason why it's a big mistake, this literally single-handedly might be the biggest mistake that Empires and Puzzles has done. Here's the reason why. Okay. Uh, when we had uh, the nerf happen to Teleria and Vila, we were all really, really upset about that. It made sense. It was a hero of the month. You nerfed these two. You pretty much made them unusable. There was huge outcry. It was really, really uh, a huge bummer. Okay. You fast forward. What was it? Six months later. Six months later. We, oh no, that was a year later. But a year later, we had the nerf just happened to Krampus. So Krampus came out. I think it was a year and three months after that. Krampus costume came out. And he was only active for about two or three months, and then he got nerfed. So now everybody is really, really, really pissed. Uh, being that he, you know, you've got this costume character that come out. Everybody acquired the costume character. Defensive changes. Uh, they went and made it so that uh, he was super easy to obtain. He was a super defensive hero. So guys, what the what? The heroes that we're seeing get nerfed the most are the ones that are on defense. And I don't see how anybody wouldn't put Master Lepus on their defense, being that he hits every single enemy for 280% damage to all enemies. This is a lot of damage. Um, so you're going to see a bunch of Master Lepus. They're going to be on defenses. People are, people are going to have them. You're going to see a substantial amount of them. Now, the biggest issue with Master Lepus is that he's part of this spring veil, which means that people have a ton of time to acquire this character, which means that people are going to, a lot of people are going to get him. He's going to be on a lot of defenses and he's going to get nerfed. Uh, I'm about 90, 90% sure that this character is going to get nerfed, um, which I think might be the straw to break the camel's back. The thing that upsets me the most is that we told Small Giant how broken this character was in beta. So we'll, we'll be able to go back. We're going to look at this video a few months down when everybody's super upset that they got their Master Leap is. They nerfed him again. And all it's going to do is just completely take away the trust that people have towards Small Giant and the characters that they're releasing. And so this is why I'm kind of already saying that this might be the, the single biggest mistake. Because we can't keep taking this to where you release characters that are super overpowered and then you nerf them. And I don't see this character being irrelevant anytime soon, especially given the fact of how how accessible this character will be. So um, I don't know if you guys don't understand uh, how good this guy is, you'll you will face him in defense and you'll realize that your whole team's going to die very quickly. So. Uh, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe, turn the notifications on, let me know in the chats, did I get this right? Did I get this wrong? Uh, am I overreacting? Definitely let me know, but this character is insane. So, yeah. Uh, Master Lepus has anger speeches. Yeah, pretty much, Kenny. Pretty much. Uh, you've got Gazelle broken, got kill hair maxed out, want a costume. Yeah, it's going to be gross. That'll be gross. Uh, Guardian Gazelle does stop it. Yes. So Frankie and Jack O'Hare are the only four-star costumes not in season one. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Does Jean-Francois? Yes. 
Jean Francois. Oh, it won't. It won't switch the attack. No, uh, you would have to use Jean Francois with regular kill hair. Um, let's put some music back on. Uh, all right, so Odin and Frag do a lot of damage at the speed. Okay, so let's compare Odin and Frig. Frig is 100% damage to all enemies, and it goes up to 240% damage in total, okay? He deals 280. He deals 40 more than Frig at her max. 40 more at her, Frig, at her max. Frig's gross because she she applies the defensive down after. Don't get me wrong, Frig is gross. Frig also isn't as accessible as um, as kill hair costume is going to be. Same thing with Odin. Odin is not as accessible. You only have three days. We've got the whole what? It's like a like a thirty day event. I don't even know how long this thing goes, but it's forever. Um, yeah. Imagine a team with multiple copies. Yep. Okay. Well, um, so I did get the costume. Uh, I spent entirely way too much money than I would like to uh, discuss and talk about. Uh, but yeah, uh, kind of what Drizzt just said. You are forced to buy Lepius to stay relevant. Uh, noted. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's kind of the situation we're in. to check out Raid Shadow Legends. Um, so guys, if, if you guys are like, hey, Anchor, I really, really appreciate you making all this content, helping me out, explaining different things. Uh, it would mean a lot to me if you just take a little bit of time. There's a QR code right up, right up there, right in the top left-hand corner. Uh, you can download it, or you can go also into the description of this to download Raid Shadow Legends. Um, I say this wholeheartedly. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause this because I think it's really important that you guys understand this. Uh, give me a second. So I say this wholeheartedly. Uh, the sponsors on my channel are what pay the bills. They are what pay for the equipment. They are what pay for pretty much everything. Um, I kind of took a few months off from really doing sponsor content because I wanted to kind of focus on you guys, be able to still give you guys content. Um, and then give you guys the opportunity to where if you guys want to financially support me, we've got different ways you could jump on and do that. Um, we're in a situation to where you guys don't really like to financially support the channel and that's okay. That's totally fine. So if you guys want to keep the channel going and keep it going, um, keep getting more content, uh, I, I can't do this for completely free. It just can't work that way. So by doing and checking out the sponsor content that comes through on the games that are coming out, uh, it's what pays for all the content for you guys. So it doesn't cost anything for you to try a new game out. Uh, if you haven't already, I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you check out Raid Shadow Legends, you may have seen some old videos where you're like, man, this guy talks about Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, it's literally because it pays the, the bills here. And honestly, it's a pretty sweet game. There's a lot of people that have started playing Raid Shadow Legends and they really love it and enjoy it. Uh, one of the things that I really like about the game is first and foremost, they have a mercy system in place. So what this means is if you do enough summons, it always increases your chances to, to, uh, to be getting a particular. And then they have a guaranteed amount that once you hit that point, you are guaranteed to be getting a legendary um, a legendary hero or champion, sorry. You're guaranteed to get a legendary champion, which this is something that we don't have at all. Um, and one of the things I really love about it. They also have really cool events. So right now they actually tell you the probability over here. You get a 6% chance to get a legendary. They have times where they have double the event to where you can do a double and you get double the chances of getting legendary. So they go up to 12% sometimes on being able to get legendary heroes. What's even better than that, guys, is when you get a character, I'm gonna show you right now. This is my starting character. This is Kale. Once you download the game, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you download and pick up Kale uh, because he is absolutely insane. 
And this guys, this, they have this scoring system set up in place. This is out of five stars. This is comparing every single champion. So out of five stars, you're getting this character for completely free. And he is actually my strongest character that I have on my team. And I got him from day one. Um, so definitely make sure you check that out. Um, you can take three star characters and you bring them all the way up to six stars. So even when you get a character that you're not too really stoked about, you can, you know, or you're kind of bummed that you only got a rare. See, this is the original version right here. You can see this is a three star. So it's just a, just a rare character. Um, you bring them up to six stars and they're still really, really awesome. So I love that they've done that with their, their character development in this game that is really unique and something super fun. So uh, they have so many different things. I'm gonna show you guys this. This is kind of like the, the basic uh, Titan attack. You get different um, you get different equipment. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, well, Anchor, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for showing me things and showing me the game. I just don't have time to play or really understand a new game. So what's really cool about this too is we have, if you look in the description of this video, we have a line group dedicated to just Empires and Puzzle players that have checked this game out uh, and have are trying to figure out how to actually play it. So we've got a bunch of people that are will be able to answer literally any question that you have. So um, like I said, I really, really, really appreciate it and um if you check the game out so i'm gonna just kind of show you guys more of this and let me pull up chat here again real quick um uh, yeah they should have done the nerfs in beta yep 27 days yeah so it's uh so crash is saying it's three days 12 day 12 times a year but the problem is, is it being featured and them not really being available a lot of times. Uh, 320, that's a lot of different tiles. And also, um, Master Lepus has way more attack power too, I believe. All right, let me pull this up. Uh, let's get music. So I'm actually doing the auto mode on this. Uh, you can set your characters up. So it'll automatically do a specific uh, specific thing. Sounds like a good one. Yeah, definitely a good one for, for war defense. So basically the only costume here in Springville. Yeah, actually none of the, actually all uh, kill hair is probably the lowest risk of getting and even still she's pretty awesome. Firmware Museum bought a painting, physically own that. It's not the same thing, Zevix. No problem, Vince. Thanks so much for hanging out, man. I could just woke up, uh, join for, oh, cool. Spartan. Well, it's the spring event is 30 days. Valhalla is 12, three. That means they are more accessible. Um, so it's, you have a featured element and you have an element of a lot of different heroes that are getting released within that same thing. So you have a lot of heroes that are getting released within that same event itself. Whereas with this, you have a higher chance of getting a specific uh, five star that you want because you have less opportunities to pull a whole bunch of other stuff versus Odin being available quote unquote, more times a year, but you also have more chances of getting different five stars. And I think actually we have a higher percentage too. You have a higher percentage of getting a featured. Uh, did three hits on the mythic, uh, custom Viv, Jackal Bertuth, uh, Malia and France got the highest. Oh, awesome. Nice job, Fenwell. Been saving your epic topics, got three Master Lepus, so happy and able to sleep. That's so funny, Martin. Uh Zevex, you're just looking at the image quality of it. There's a whole more there's a whole lot more to it than just that. 
So like Derek is saying, um, I could offer a situation to where anybody that owns the NFT, which that information is stored and saved on, on the blockchain itself, would have access to specific things, uh, would have access to getting specific uh, niche, niche items, uh, exclusivity perks, stuff like that. Also, it can also be resold. So if somebody else wants that perk itself, they could resell it instead. Uh, we're lucky Valhalla is more often imagine Al Freaky's, yeah. What about uh, waiting and pull for next hero of the month? Um, it depends on how it's going to be presented and sent out. Do you get the family bonus if you run the same hero? Uh, you will get the family bonus, yes. Yes, they do, hustling. You just have to have three from the same family. So let me know in the chat who does not play Raid Shadow Legends, who does play Raid Shadow Legends. Let me know in the chat. Because I'm trying to get five people on stream to check out Raid Shadow Legends. Um, you don't forget epic tokens are much easier. That's very, very true, Fenwell. Very true. Uh, so this is the Hydra. I don't think I have any business really fighting this thing, which is cool. New costumes busted, waiting for the nerfs before you level anything. That's okay. Uh, I hate the song. What does the NFT give you the, the image itself? So Zevex, uh, it's the exclusivity and it's what it's being built on. It's being built on what's called the blockchain Zevex which is also incorporated in with all the cryptocurrencies and put up that way. So it's not just the image itself. It's the, um, it's the resources and what it does behind just the image itself. You download a raid. We'll check it out later tonight. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Man, that's so awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Please let me know, Jonathan, in the comments after this video. Let me know what you think of the uh, the game. I'd really, really appreciate that. And then also, um, also, Jonathan, if you check the description of this, you will have, um, there's also a line group of EP players. So make sure you also join that too. So if you like it, you can also get advice on how to play it, that kind of stuff like that. So you don't play it, you did download it, I started to play, but you didn't like it, not for me, same as Macarena, far too many things, trying to sell you on screen, that's so funny. Coming from Empires and Puzzles, interesting. Thank you, Tony, man, that's so cool. I really, really appreciate that. That is uh, probably one of the best comments I've read, Tony. For you to uh, check out Raid, Macarena, that kind of stuff like that, really, really, really helps out so much. Uh, Jack O'Hare is like Sir Rosa Jr. Yep, Sunshine, and they're both really, really good. And anyone know if the Ninja Towers come next month? I don't think, Toby. Maybe. Maybe? I actually don't know the answer to that. Because it didn't come out this month, right? No, we got the Ninjas last month. I think Ninja Tower will be next month. Yeah, because we had the, the Magic Tower. So, like, Ninja Towers will be here.
what I like about the game too is they have so many things that you can do. Um, like there's no way to call this game boring just given the amount of stuff that you can do. Uh, and the it definitely has the um, it definitely has the element of difficulty that I think is missing from a lot of different games. So this is the actual Doom Tower. This thing's like intense. This is a brand new feature. I can't even get that far into it too much. Are you seriously playing this song again? Oh, this is a different one. I don't like that one either. There's no way for me to remove it too. I have to build a separate playlist. Oh, I have it in a custom order too. Probably should just do shuffle instead. Um, so why don't I show you guys this? This is pretty cool. They have what's called super raids. So they offer it to where you have a higher chance of getting specific loot. So even right now, this is uh, the speed. This is like one of the best um, drops that you can be getting is the speed drops. Um, so I can actually come down here. I think I can auto this. Oh, I forgot to do double chance. Oops, my bad. Thanks, Manuel. I really, really appreciate you hanging out. Zevex, a lot of it too, with the, the image itself, will be able to be seen by other people too. Uh, so imagine how quote unquote silly it is for people to go and buy a pair of pants for $50 versus buying a pants for $20 at Walmart. Um, a lot of the reason why people do that is because they are then seen by other people and you can see that. So the whole technology behind the NFTs is also the upcoming future as far as how we're going to interact and how we're going to see people too. So being able to excessively view people's NFTs, the different resources that they have, um, there will be just a normal, regular way of life in interacting online and seeing different people. There's that whole element to it as well too. So it also, you know, it's a matter of, well, I can walk like cosmetic skins. Like why do people buy anything cosmetic in any sort of games or try and get different things? It's a way for people to express themselves that you have to understand is going to also be incorporated into things. Uh, I should share my raid shadow legends account with Liz and build that, build that account together. Uh, who's Liz? What up OG? How are you doing, bro? Decided to show up. Way too many towers. Added to EP. Game is not beginner friendly anymore. As she must be providing new content. Oh, sweet. Speed gloves. 8% defense. Okay. Defense to speed gloves. Pretty good. Uh, I want to do this. Oh, it's just the drop fever. Let's see. So, one other really cool thing. You guys see that right there, right where my head was at? It says multi-battle. You can literally set it and it will just automatically do it. You feel old, you still can't understand it. That's okay, Jason. It's completely new technology that's coming up and, uh, and doing it. Zevex, I've already answered your question like 9 million times.
you can't save that screenshot on the blockchain. People won't be able to see your screenshot. Again, that's like saying, what's the difference between buying a 20 pair of jeans and a $50? <laughs> Shani, stop donating. <laughs> Shani, you just cost us money. <laughs> All right, I think she's just doing that for me. To, oh my gosh. All right, let me see if I can read this real quick. About the impact. So let me catch you. So let me catch you slipping by. I just read it. You look good. It looks good, babe. <laughs> what up, Chio Chu? Where do you buy an Anchor NFT? Chio, I'm, I'm deciding of whether or not to partner with a company that's doing it, and it would be free for me to do it. It might be cool. I would like, I don't know. Finally, listen to new songs. That's pretty good. She's having fun. So she just she sent me a message. <laughs> she sent me a message on my uh, my other account for her work. So <laughs> she wanted my attention. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to head out, but I will be back uh, Wednesday. We've got a brand new character, so I will be streaming that as well, too. Uh, so definitely make sure you guys come and stop by and hang out with me on Wednesday. Uh, it does, OG. Uh, so it does have uh, cryptocurrency, but uh, um, the elements behind it is essentially right now, the way that they have it set up is that it's purchased through um through ethereum but there's other companies coming in like the company that i'm considering working with that you don't need to have cryptocurrency you can just use a debit or a credit card and call it a day and it would still be saved uh saved and stored on the blockchain itself so you will have the accessibility rights to trade or give that away in the future so Yep. Uh, so guys, I'm going to be heading out. Please do me a huge favor. And now's the time for you to go and check out Raid Shadow Legends. All you got to do, click on the link in the description, or you can scan the QR code in the top left-hand corner. It helps me out a bunch. And let me know what you guys think of the game. Um, and I will see you guys later. And I hope you have an absolutely awesome day. Thank <laughs> you.